Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over a website that will allow you to make your own free 8-bit avatar. Now, the website is called 8bit.me. I'll provide the link in the video's description. I've been using this website for about a week now, and I've actually been loving the service of avatars that they provide. As you can see here by the colorful little animated avatars at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that this is what you're going to be getting. You're going to be getting a custom 8-bit themed avatar that you can use for your Twitter account, your YouTube account, Facebook, or pretty much anything else that you want to use an avatar for. So this service is absolutely free. I believe the only thing you need for it is a Twitter account, so uh, just bear in mind. If you guys want to see some examples of some finished products, I have some right here. As you can notice, this is the uh, finished product for my NickW324 username, and this is the finished product for a new username that I just decided to create. So, without further ado, let's go on to the website. And first thing first, I have to apologize if you hear a dog barking in the background. I cannot control that, so I am sorry. But to go ahead and make a new profile, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're logged in with our Twitter account and click on Player One Login. And as you notice, it will redirect you to Twitter. So it will say, do you want to allow this access to your Twitter account? So the Twitter account I'm using is A11021085. So I'm going to go ahead and click Allow. By the way, this is my old Twitter account that I don't use anymore. The only reason I don't use it is because the name is so long, no one's going to remember it. So if you guys want my current Twitter account, I'll post the link somewhere around here. But anyway, the first thing we're going to need to do is choose our character. So I'm going to choose a, a guy, of course. And I'm going to choose a white guy, because I'm a white guy. And uh, you can choose between different styles of hair, as you can see here. And uh, I think I'm going to make my style of hair maybe a little different. I don't know. But um, you know what? I think I'll just go with some of the uh, basic ones that they have. So let's go with this one. That's about right. And my hair is brown, so I'll choose brown. You can choose any color you want to, by the way. So let's try, let's try some facial hair. So I don't have a beard or anything. So I think I'm going to keep mine just plain. And uh, I'll give myself some... Let's check out the glasses that they got here. Ooh, 3D glasses. That sounds cool. I think I'll give myself normal glasses for the time being. What kind of shirt do I want? Uh, this open shirt's just fine with me. Uh, I'll, let's check the color, shall we? So what, kind of, what color shirt do I want? I don't want a pink shirt. Maybe I'll choose a black shirt. And for a jacket, I think I'll choose this uh, open jacket here. with a, uh, Or maybe I'll do this right here. That looks pretty cool. And I, now I can choose my jacket's color. So, do I want a black jacket? Uh, that won't look good. That won't look so good with my background. So, let's try a brown jacket. Because that's the kind of jacket I'm wearing right now. And for pants, I just wear normal jeans with a belt. And, uh, let's try some, some gray pants. That actually is starting to really look like me. And so, I'll choose. Uh, wait, wait. Let's go back to. Go back to shoes and choose that. And I'll make my shoes not pink. Make them gray. Yeah, this is really starting to look like me. So here's where you can go ahead and select yourself a backdrop. So let's choose a backdrop that would suit this character. So I think I will choose this gray back here. And then once it's done, it will bring you up with this dialog box that'll send you out a tweet that says, I just made an at 8-bit character. Check out my profile, which is 8bit.me slash A11021085. Update my Twitter photo with this. And if you want to follow 8-bit on Twitter, that's fine. I'm going to leave all of these checkmarked and click Save and Continue. And then once that's done, it will save your profile. And here it advertises their website for the iPhone. Just feel free to check that out if you want to. I visited and personally did not like it. But anyway, they're also coming out with an app for Android. But I'm going to click View My Profile. And this is the guy I created. So if I'm correct, it should have replaced my Twitter icon with this logo. So if I go to Twitter, as you see here, it replaced my icon with this 8bit.me avatar that we just created. So if you want to go ahead and edit this any way you want to, you can just go ahead and click on edit. There's someone knocking at my door. It's probably my dog, so I'm going to pause the video right now. Okay, guys, sorry for that little interruption. My dog was knocking at my door. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So if you want to change your profile at all, just click edit and then go ahead and just go ahead and edit it the way you want to. But I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and close out of this right now. And so that's pretty much it. So as you can see here, it changed our Twitter icon. So I'm going to just go ahead over here and I'm going to open the image in a new tab. And now I'm going to save it. And so pretty much that's it. If you guys want to go ahead and make your own custom 8-bit avatar that you can use on any website that you want to, feel free to go ahead and check out 8bit.me, which I'll provide the link in the video's description. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you a lot for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for different videos you want to see me do in the future, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Or check out my newly designed website, which the link will be right down here if you guys want to go ahead and visit. So anyway, thank you for watching. And also, if you guys want to see how to make an 8-bit icon like this inside of Adobe Illustrator so you can actually edit it and make it bigger, that is going to be in the next tutorial. But anyway, I know I've said thank you for watching a couple times, but thank you for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.